on, it's an Ekipo again. So after my first video on the new quest, many people were questioning the new character who appeared in Chapter 3. Joseph, the father of Jewel. It's the first time in the game that we get to see this character, but not the first time we'll learn about him. Let's take a deeper dive. We first learn about Jewel and his missing father in the version 1.2 of the game, when the Dragon Spine area was released. The world exploration quest called Lost in the Snow introduces us to the events leading to Jules' father's disappearance. During the quest, we visit the camps where Joseph stayed and gather his notes. One of the notes was left in the camp I talked about in my previous video, the camp near the cave with the broken elkin table. In the note, Joseph says that he would go to the summit of the mountain. What happened near the summit is the part that can raise questions. First of all, in his last note he writes that the rocks collapsed suddenly and blocked his way out. He mentions that he stayed in the camp, feeding two foxes that kept him company, thinking about jumping off the cliff on the other side of the cave. This is the last piece of information we have on his location, but if we go down the cliff, we can find an adventurer's backpack. There are no more clues to what happened to him later. From Joseph's route and the events he describes in the notes, we can suggest that the imposter Albedo noticed him since he was staying in the camp near the cave where I think the imposter Albedo might have stayed. Then the imposter Albedo might have followed him to the summit and blocked Joseph in the cave. Now the things from the new quest that seem questionable. First, the fact that the Traveler calls Joseph a gigantic version of Jewel. Many people point out that in Chapter 1 of the new quest, the imposter Albedo was taking Jewel away before Eula stopped him. So he might have learned about Jewel's father and his appearance from Jewel himself. Then, what stands out to me the most is the fact that Joseph mentions Jewel's mother, if he really could not ever forget her. Why he never mentioned her in the notes? Why Jewel never talks about her? This may be a poor writing, or may be a hint that it's not a real Joseph. Now what supports the idea that Joseph is not an imposter for me is the fact that making a fox snowman with Jewel gives him warm memories. And the real father of Jewel did stay in the cave with two small foxes before making a decision to jump off the cliff. Would an imposter know this or have the same feelings? Well, he might have got warm feelings from feeling needed and playing with a child, but that's too much of a theory on my side. What is more interesting than Jewel's father is Pallet, who acts really out of character in Chapter 3. Even Bennett points out his strange mannerism. Not even to mention that we never met Pallet on the mountain, contrary to what he says. In the end, I want to say that in my opinion, although being suspicious, both Joseph and Pallet most likely are their real selves. The imposter Albedo followed the traveler to Mondstadt for the final dialogue of the quest, and personally, I believe he has no interest in other people but Albedo and the Traveler. He specifically took Albedo's appearance because he envies him and his goal was to feel truly alive, not like a failed experiment. Also, have you noticed how cautious Rosaria was about Albedo in previous quests? I forgot to mention it before, but to me it's another clue that the imposter Albedo existed in the game from the beginning. And it makes me happy that the game has such great details. 